Junimo Huts. These things are great. Junimo Huts are an end game building that are extremely convenient as they have these little cute Junimos that will collect any crop that is ready to be harvested within the hut's range. They do take quite a while to pick up all of the crops, but it will allow you to go and do other things instead of harvesting. Unfortunately, on my beach farm, I can't really use sprinklers, so they're not that useful on the beach farm. So I booted up this very, very old playthrough for this video. To get your own Junimo hut, you will first have to complete the community center and then you will have to complete the Dark Talisman quest. This quest is pretty easy to complete. To start this quest, go to the train after you have completed the community center and then the wizard will give you a quest and task you with retrieving his magic ink from his ex, the witch. First, you need to get access to her cave, and to do that, you will need to chat to Krobus in the sewers. He knows where the Dark Talisman is, and unlocks a passageway to a mutant bug lair. This is actually an excellent place to farm fiber, so remember that if you ever run out of fiber. However, the enemies here are not difficult, so just run to the end and collect the dark talisman. Then bring that dark talisman back to the thing blocking this witch's camp and magically it will open up for you. Once you have entered, you will see a goblin blocking your way. But the game has made it pretty easy to get past him. Just fish in the water in the witch's swamp until you get some void mayonnaise. If you give void mayonnaise to anyone in the town, they will not be very impressed. However, giving it to the goblin will result in him being so ecstatic that he betrays his master and lets you through. Inside of the witch's hut, you can collect the magic ink on the desk over here. I actually ran past it before, so make sure to pick it up and then stand on this circle to teleport straight back to the wizard's tower. Now that the wizard has his ink back, he will allow you to purchase endgame buildings at his tower. To build this Junimo hut, you will need 200 stone, 100 fiber, and 9 star fruit. Once you have your Junimo hut, you should probably plant some crops around it. The Junimo hut can send out Junimos to harvest in a large range of 7 tiles in each direction. This is almost 300 tiles, which is quite substantial. I planted an extra row on the left over here to confirm that the Junimos won't harvest. I think using regular Uvian sprinklers will probably result in a better looking sprinkler setup, but I tried irrigating my small farm using buffed up iridium sprinklers. If you know of a better way to arrange these more powerful sprinklers, please let me know in the comments below. I love symmetry, but it was very late at night when I was figuring this farming space thing out. <laughs> Something very important to note about Junimo huts are they cannot send out Junimos to collect harvestable crops when it's raining. So if it's ever raining, you have a huge amount of available crops just ready to be harvested. Remember to harvest them manually. Junimos also take quite a while to harvest all of the crops in their range because the hut only sends about 3 Junimos and they harvest crops one at a time. So if you go to bed before they are done harvesting everything, the remaining crops will not be harvested and this will result in your crops maturing out of sync. With the addition of Ginger Island, you can often see yourself being completely immersed at Ginger Island. Well, at least I often am. And sometimes I even forget to come back home to my regular farm to harvest crops and even pet my animals. Junimo huts will help you out a great deal with this. And I highly recommend planting crops that regrow so you don't have to maintain anything. You have sprinklers to keep everything irrigated, Junimo huts to harvest everything as soon as they are ready, scarecrows to keep the crows away, and finally crops that regrow every few days. This is as automotive as it gets in Stardew Valley. You can plant a huge plantation of strawberries or even ancient fruit. Completely forget about it for an entire season and then come back to collect all of these crops and make big, big money. Finally. To collect your harvested crops, you just click on the Junimo hut and all of the harvested crops will be sitting here, almost like a chest. You can also turn the harvesting off if you would like to do so. The only time I would ever do that is if I was trying to grow giant crops, otherwise I will probably never turn the harvesting off. Thank you so much for watching this video. Unfortunately, Junimo huts are a little weird on the beach farm. So I had to use one of my very old playthroughs and my character doesn't look the same. However, I do have an idea of how I can make full use of a Junimo hut on the beach farm. I just need to figure out all of the specifics. If you like this video, consider hitting that subscribe button. And as always, I will see you in the next video.